If you think about the um, story of the Buddha's life, one of the, the great myths that many of you might remember is that Mara, which is the god of the shadow side, you know, greed, hatred, fear, anger, Mara attacked the Buddha. That's like your own difficult emotions attacking, rising to the surface. And the Buddha's response was to bring a strong presence to them. And in fact, it's, uh, it's described that the Buddha would be teaching, this is after his enlightenment, and Mara would be hanging around in the outskirts of where he would be teaching. And the Buddha's loyal attendant, Ananda, would say, oh my gosh, Mara is here. Like, this is a terrible, terrible thing. And they kind of like, oh my God. And the Buddha would say, it's okay. And he'd go right to Mara and he'd say, I see you, Mara. Come, let's have tea. Now this represents an evolutionary jump from responding to fear with fight, flight, freeze to attend and befriend. I see you, Mara. Let's have tea. I mean, this is a, a very powerful part of a mythology that represents an evolutionary shift in our own psyches of being hijacked by our limbic system to start to have access to the more recently part, evolved part of our brain. And uh, this myth- mythological story in the Buddha's life really expresses that. So that's one approach, is can we be present? And we say, I see you, fear. Come on, let's, let me get to know you. Let's be together. Let me feel you. But here's another thing to consider. What enabled the Buddha to be so gracious? Well, he had done a ton of training before that to get his mind steady and calm and to wake up his heart. In fact, one of the final parts of of the story of his awakening was he got attacked by doubt. That was the form Mara took. And the Buddha, when he was attacked by doubt, which is considered to be the most challenging of the challenges, put his hand on the ground and he called on the earth goddess. He called on this whole web, this whole living universe to bear witness to his goodness. He reached out to the sacred web of all of life. And in those moments, as they say, there was thunder and lightning and the heavens shook and and that's when Mara finally withdrew and the Buddha was fully awakened and free. So let me just translate that to say, because we're talking about these two pathways, rather than bringing full presence with doubt, the Buddha reached out for help. And that's part of the training, is that we sometimes we get caught and we reach out to what we perceive as larger to help us reconnect with our wholeness. 